And we begin with breaking news. A convicted killer could go free. The teenager is serving a life sentence for shooting and killing his school bus driver. Good evening, everyone. That murder made national headlines, the first case of its type in the country. Now, after only serving a few years, Jason Kleinard could be released from prison. News Channel 5's Nick Barris is at the Five Alert Center with this exclusive story. Nick. This case shocked Middle Tennessee. Prosecutors called it Stewart County's Columbine, a beloved school bus driver killed, and now the convicted shooter could go free. It happened in Dover on a cold Wednesday morning in March of 2005. School bus driver Joyce Gregory was on her route when she stopped to pick up 14-year-old Jason Kleinard. He pulled a gun. He hadn't even got on a bus. He just stood in the doorway and shot her. Gregory, a wife and mother of two, died from the gunshot wounds. Kleinard ran from the scene and then called his mother. He said, Mama, I know I've done something, and I need to go to the police station. And he said, that's where I'm headed. Kleinard's case was transferred from juvenile to adult court. At trial, there was no doubt. Mr. Foreman, has this jury arrived at a verdict? Yes, Your Honor, we have. What is your verdict? We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder in the first degree. The conviction brought a life sentence, but now Kleinard could be out of prison by early next year. This is very unusual. Legal expert Jim Todd says Kleinard has filed an appeal arguing his lawyer was ineffective during that transfer hearing to adult court 13 years ago. He says his lawyer failed to call key witnesses. There were two doctors who apparently were going to come and testify that they thought that at age 14, there was ample time and resources to rehabilitate the child in the juvenile system. The Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals has agreed that there's an issue and now ordered Kleinard get a new juvenile transfer hearing. And if the judges decide he never should have been transferred to adult court in the first place, well... Juvenile court's jurisdiction is already run. There's no way they could punish him. He's out. That's right. Out. Juvie jurisdiction runs to age 19. Kleinard is now 28 years of age. If the court sides with him, he'll be released immediately after serving only 13 years of a life sentence. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. Kleinard will get his second transfer hearing this next April in federal court in downtown Nashville.